SPNN is just like a great space to just be in. The energy, the vibes are always good. The people that work there are always welcoming and knowledgeable and like it's always a great experience to walk into that space and feel loved and feel accepted and validated in the work that I do. My name is Aja Gildersleeve. I use they, them, she, her pronouns. And I'm a filmmaker and youth worker. And I work at the Science Museum of Minnesota. I first got involved with SPNN when I was doing some youth programs. Actually, I did a youth program at MTN and I found out about community access. And then I found out that there's one in St. Paul. And so I went there and found out that there is ways to get classes and to check out equipment, which access was a big thing for me. And so that's how I got involved. And that was many years ago. I really like SPNN's model. So I also own my own media company called Free Truth. And what I've learned from SPNN is the value of education with media and youth work and how it's important for us to not only have the platforms and the tools to create media, but also um, the tools to learn how to, to create and how to use these tools. Most of my work is involved in media making, so I do a lot of storytelling with documentary storytelling in community, so telling whether it's the, telling the story of an organization and the work that they're doing, or highlighting um, black queer elders and trying to cap capture and document their stories because I'm also an archivist and I know 50 years from now the work that we're building, the foundations that we're laying here are going to be very important to document and so I want to make sure that the future generations have access to what they can learn from us. Another part of my work is working at the Science Museum of Minnesota in the U Kitty Anderson Youth Science Center and I work with the youth research team and the youth research team is uh, doing research on colorism and also combating colorism in their own way and using their research to do that. And so um, what my work looks like is working with the youth to make sure that we are on a similar analysis with what oppression looks like and the understanding of colorism and the understanding of their value and worth within community. I like the amount of independence that Aja kind of gives us. She kind of is like the leader, but like she lets us find our own pathways and how we she work to, yeah, to, she trusts yeah. us to do that. She's a very headstrong person, I would say. She's really comforting to be around, and I really like how she works with youth and how she interacts with us. Like, I really appreciate that she values our opinion. She's like very trustworthy. And, mm -hmm. She feels she doesn't. Some, sometimes she doesn't feel like a boss. Like she right. just feels like a right. like a person I just talked to. <laughs> I'm really proud of the way that youth um, are going to carry a lot of the things that historically were messed up. I feel like youth really have the agency and tools to be able to change that and I hate to put that burden on them and I feel bad of what we're leaving them with and what we're creating right now but they're really powerful people. <laughs> I really think that the power of media is so important because I need media I know to be able to see myself to be able to imagine and dream and to internalize something that's positive, something that makes me feel worthy and dignified. And we don't realize how deep media can go to a person's internalization, especially youth is what I really care about. And so I really appreciate being able to have like SPN as a place where we can really cultivate that and create that space because a lot of times people don't realize like media is a great powerful tool for us to make these changes that we want to see especially in a time like this.